Hello Virgo, welcome to your tarot reading here at the Intuitive Teacup. Welcome to my channel, my name's Annie. We are going to do a general love and relationships tarot reading for the Virgo gang, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, of course, anyone's welcome in this reading. I just ask you to come in with an open heart, an open mind, a desire to learn something to better yourself, right? If the messages that come through don't resonate, please, uh, please feel free to push them aside or to revisit them at another date. You are accountable and responsible for all your own actions and decisions. This is optional advice or guidance meant to encourage you, support you, inspire you, empower you. That's what I want to do here. So without further ado, Seven of Cups, you're having trust issues with someone. You're also feeling like you're being blocked or, or getting a negative or pessimistic advice or reactions from those around you you're trying to proceed with something and you're it's almost like you're very susceptible to other people's influence at this time so first and foremost you need to ask um is this something i want am i following my heart's desire all right so then you have the king of swords let's see mm. some of you need to be very cognizant of um People interfering or, or bothering your child. I don't know if it's a bullying issue or if you're if you're having issues with a, an ex-husband or wife that's sort of almost like, um, what is the word, like uh, pitting, pitting your kid against you. Is that the right word? It's, it's like they're an instigator of conflict but um, through the child. I don't like that at all. It feels super immature. It feels super um, manipulative. I, yeah, I don't like that at all. So if you're dealing with an ex and that has been an issue, I, I see that coming up in the cards. Um, but then you have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. So there you go. I mean, this this is not all, all sadness and sob stories. This is overcoming a difficult time. It could involve a, a divorce, but if that's the case, and obviously this won't be everyone's message, but the main message I see here is that confusion or indecision of, well, if, if I'm no longer with this person who I built my world around, right, what is that going to look like? I mean, to me, it looks like it's going to be fantastic. Um, that's just my reading of the cards, but Nine of Pentacles, if, if this is lacking love and it's it's just not bringing any joy and positivity to your life. You may have to make a very difficult executive decision on, on who and what you need to cut out of your life. Some, some of you, there's like a battle for child custody. I feel like this message comes up very frequently for you, Virgo, and I don't totally know why other than it's just consistently in the cards, but being very aware that your, your child is a very sensitive. Um, and possibly dealing with bullies or external forces that have a sort of a, neg a negative influence. It's kind of ironic because that's coming up twice. It's coming up in your own message. Um, you know, it could be that you're wanting to go through with a, a divorce or something and your parents are like, no, no, you're better off, you know, because you, you know, stay together for the kids type thing, which, you know, every story is a little bit different, but that's not always, you know, your truth. That might be someone else's truth. So again, bottom line, you have to do what's best for you. But anyway, that idea of being very influenced, um, I'm hearing sort of under the influence too. So there, there may even be addiction issues at hand here, but the idea of being influenced by other people, your child is going through something very similar. Um, so just be aware of that. Uh, you're, especially if you have sort of like a preteen or a teenager, I know it's not for all of you. I'm going to move past it. But the last thing I wanted to say is that they might sort of be at that age where they're sort of curious by, I don't know if it's drugs or alcohol or sex or something, but there, there's definitely people around them who it's almost like peer pressure. That's what I'm going to say. So no time like the, like the present to, to have a, you know, a, a good talk with your kids. Um, they're probably, <laughs> I feel like some of you are watching going, no, 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 my kids are way too young. Eh, you'd be surprised. I'm just going to put it out there. Tell me more a little bit about this uh, Nine of Pentacles lady. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, freeing yourself from a toxic situation. Um, something that kept you stuck, something that kept you sort of held hostage or feeling like a prisoner. Uh, the King of Swords is a, is a very cutting energy. It's, you know, the, the King and Queen of Swords can sometimes be, you know, representative of divorce, legalities, uh, you know, the legal system, making some sort of executive decision. But the one, Nine of Wands is you've been carrying this burden around for a long time, so freeing yourself from it. Um, you know, it, it will be quite pleasant. It will be very liberating. Um, some of you are going to move to a new apartment, especially in the city. <clears throat> some of you are just ha grappling with confusion about a child. What, what can I tell them about the child? What is the best advice here? Because I'm getting so many different messages. And then we're going to move on to something else because I know not all of you have kids. So <laughs> here we go. 
Yeah, you you need to address the issue. You need to have a conversation. Um, some of you need to have an intervention or vice versa. Your your children and possibly an ex husband, wife, especially an ex-husband, maybe planning some sort of intervention for you if you've been struggling with addiction issues or I just sort of get we need to confront the elephant in the room, right? Like there's something kind of big and ominous here that we're not dealing with, but we're, we are all aware that it's going on. Um, so it will feel like a weight has been lifted once you have this important conversation, but it starts with the conversation. I don't think we can avoid it or, or divert it or you know, live in fantasy land and pretend that it's not there because it, it, it's, you know, it, it's pointing you down or it's staring you down. It, it, yeah, there, there needs to be a conversation of truth because someone hasn't been open and upfront with how they feel or what they're thinking. There may be a growing distance between you and your child and there might be more important reasons why. Trust your gut, though. Um, your intuition is on point. So, um I wouldn't say, you know, jump to the worst conclusions and, you know, what you're fearing is true, but th those fears are triggering you for a reason. It's to get you to have this, this open, um, hopefully amicable conversation. This may involve a, a cancer. It could involve an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then you have the Ten of Cups. There could be a, a tension in a marriage or a relationship about money and, and especially, especially if it is a, a, uh, male female relationship though it doesn't have to be but especially for my my females out there if you are involved in a male dating you know married whatever there might be tension or, or unspoken uh, issues baggage at the fact that you make more than they do it makes them feel emasculine emasculated yeah you know what i'm trying to say there um and i don't think they would ever come out and say it but if you're sensing some uneasy tension or or you're celebrating something really big like a milestone in your work life but you're getting crickets from your partner they they have a lot of fear their their silence is is telling you exactly what you need to know that they're they might not be supporting you the way you thought they were they might not be the best team player for you um i do like that the ten of cups is here though because you are achieving something very big with all this happening but you do have some cards that are like it's not all fun and games. There's definitely some serious stuff going on that needs to be dealt with. So don't run from it, right? Don't pretend it's not happening. Um, that's sort of, yeah, easy to do in Pisces season. You know, the, the avoidance, the uh, neglect or the um, escapism. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, this, this is something that, you know, we can pretend it doesn't exist, but ultimately it's going to follow up with you. So I think you may as well sort of Especially in Aries season, uh, you know, Aries can be very uh, symbolic of sort of um, being action oriented, but also being um, aggressive. But I mean more in a way of confronting uh, that. That's really what I'm trying to get at. Um, <laughs> doesn't really hold back. Um, and, you know, maybe it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable at first, but I think that's what's needed. You know, like, where's the fire? I don't see it anywhere in here. Like, where's the action? Where's the swords? Where's the passion? Is, is this a loveless marriage? Is there, is there passion in whatever it is you're doing? You definitely seem to have some here, Virgo. That's what I love. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is great. It just doesn't seem to be matching with, with either the person you're with or who you're surrounding yourself with. So you may have to liberate yourself from, from the negativity of those around you. Um, be a free thinker, right? Be different, be innovative, be unique, and, and be proud of it. Um, what is the word? Don't be a, uh, a follower, but there's a better word for it. Um, don't drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Conformity, right? Conformity is the enemy here. I, I think you have to be loud and proud and do your thing. Uh, you know, while keeping your child's interest in mind, etc., as well as your own very much. But all right, that's what I got for that. Let's uh, let's do a new one. Hopefully I remember to timestamp these, but I probably won't. All right, let's do a new message. Whoops. <laughs> let's do a new message for Virgo. Oh my gosh. Three of swords and five of wands. Conflict over pain that isn't being dealt with. Uh, we need to We need to be solution oriented. We need to seek resolution. Ongoing pain or suffering or sadness. Um... You need to confront it. You need to speak for that person or, or advocate for yourself. All right, new message. Ooh, I don't love this heavy energy. I gotta be honest. We are in Pisces season. Um, so for my Virgo risings, that means stuff is going through your seventh house of partnership. And I believe open enemies as well. Uh, and don't let that term scare you, but the idea of sort of one-to-one -one partnerships, relationship, marriage contracts, business contracts, you know, it's also where you find out, you know, people who, who are opposing you in, in viewpoints or your desires, your heart space, whatever. All right, here we go. Seven of 
some of you are going to, you're taking a, a trip of nostalgia. It's like you're going back to hang out uh, at, at some place, some location that's very um, sentimental, something from your past. It could be that you're going to hang out with like, you know, college buddies or you're taking your kids where, you know, you grew up or some place you spent summers. Seems to be maybe a little bit of travel, maybe a road trip to, to the past. And I do think it's literal. I think it's a literal travel. Um, Cancer's very, uh, uh, this is a Cancerian card, the chariot. It, it also is very um, symbolic of the past. So you have two cards coming up here of, of nostalgia, of sentimentality. You may hear from a, an ex, uh, possibly from your past, especially a Cancer, may be coming in. Wheel of Fortune. So there's positive vibes there. I do like that. You might be invited on a trip. I am getting sent something with friends. Friendship is important here. Like a little weekend getaway or something. Starting of a new, breaking old pat, uh, patterns or old habits that no longer serve you and, and moving forward and exploration. Some of you may be going back to school or uh, this almost doesn't seem as rigid as school or education, but just for pleasure, for, for seeking new knowledge, you're, you're learning new things. You're immersing yourself in some sort of new information. All right, so, so for some of you, it could be university. Some of you have been uh, in college or doing online classes and there's a graduation pending, a graduation coming. Yeah, there's, there's good news of an ending of an old cycle. Some of you may choose to cut out memories of the past, again, if they aren't bringing you lightheartedness, but there's also a message here of something from the past that does bring you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. So, you know, seeing a best friend, hanging out with, with uh, I don't know, it doesn't have to be an ex, but I, you know, I'm reading for kind of love and romance here. So yeah, someone from your past may ask you out, Virgo. This person may live at a distance from you. I get that with these three cards. Um, possibly uh, some Sagittarius or, or Pisces energy. It doesn't have to be. Okay, but then why the Eight of Swords? I think this person's shy. I think this person is embarrassed to ask you out or they're, they're worried about being rejected. <sighs> this person may also have gotten... This, this is a totally different message. This won't apply to everybody. Um, overall, this is very positive. Some of you, this person may have had some issue with the law or some sort of uh, legal infraction, or they might be in the middle of a, a court case, or maybe that's what that first message was. It could be someone's going through a nasty divorce and that's sort of holding them back. And if it's not you, it could be your person. Let's see. Yeah, this person is, is trying to get their way out of a tricky situation. Let's hope they're not married. I can't do any more of these third party stuff. <laughs> One more on this. To be an Aquarius. But whatever it is that they're trying to get out of, I think their wish will come true. It, it will take time and patience um, and perspective. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the star card is very positive, so I would say the stars are aligning for them. What does this have to do with Virgo? And maybe that, that's you, Virgo, right? Maybe you're the one, you know, starting a new life, starting a new chapter. Some of you may work in the education system as a teacher or something. Yeah, reunions and celebrations with friends and from your past. Some of you just need to um, not spend so much time with your family. If there's a particular issue in the family and you're very susceptible, again, to people's opinions and judgment, there, for some reason here, it's saying distance yourself from the family. This is more about dating and friends and people who have a positive impact on your life. Um, people who don't necessarily judge you, right? People who, who allow you to be yourself and, and be open and honest and communicate feelings and thoughts and not feel like you're being put under a microscope. Um, and I think that's, that's really important for my Virgos to hear, right? Um, because sometimes that can be an issue Virgo struggles with, right? Being ruled by, by Mercury, there is this sort of precision and, and this desire to, to analyze and dissect and pull things apart. And so some of you are getting sort of the, the opposition of that energy really where, ooh, it doesn't feel so good when everyone's criticizing my decisions. And, you know, you're just like everyone else. You're only human, Virgo. You're allowed to make mistakes and errors. And so I, I can see and I know that you're very hard on yourself, but it certainly doesn't help when other people are too, right? So I think it's saying distance yourself from the, the negativity, the you know, energy suckers, the vampire suckers. And um, it's always good to be self-aware and self-critical. But honestly, I think what this is saying is like, Girl, you need a break. Like, go on a vacation. Go do something that makes you happy. Something from your past, especially. Maybe it's a hobby, a sport, a craft, a, a again, a location you, you like to visit, a person you like to go see. 
Um, I do actually see a lot of people coming into your life that, that do bring you joy and happiness and support you, that offer a listening ear and are very empathetic to your issues right now. Um, and again, in, in terms of dating, I see Aquarius, I see Cancer, I see Capricorn, and possibly Sag or Pisces with this, with this Wheel of Fortune. Um, all right, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for joining me today, Virgo. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, guys.